and if it's getting away from his body, then that's what they'll try and do is lace him up and tie him up. He wants to play in this football game. Defensive line, they already lost two tackles. Stan Brock and Bill Tonts. Joel Hilgenberg comes in at the left guard spot. Play action. Taylor knocks it away. Giant football. The Giants take over at their 25. Perry Williams, the right corner, picked it up after Lawrence Taylor knocked it loose. From the right side of your screen, Abra with the play action fake to Reuben Mays. Now Taylor just has a ton of speed and swats the ball at Abra's hand, and it's like it's on the ground, and there it is. Three-man rush and pressure. This is, a, this is a coaching job for Bill Parcells, and so far he's done a great one. Second and 10, a bear play action. Dumps it off to Hilliard, and Hilliard is smothered by reason. There is a penalty flag down, back by Bobby Hebert, and it will go against New Orleans. Offense, number 77, holding. Half the distance to the goal line, still second down. Control passing game. Well, he's running great tonight. Nice cutback. Almost broke it. Got to the 29. He'll be just shy of a first down. Lawrence Taylor made the tackle, or he may have gotten another 15 yards out of that run. Hey, there. Pocket collapsed around it. Hilliard again. To the 10. To the 9. Lawrence Taylor made the tackle. Abair throws for Hilliard incomplete. Hey, you see Lawrence Taylor make the move. No one man's going to block him. Pepper Johnson comes in and finishes it off. But Abair just can, cannot get himself turned. Jordan came out two plays ago. The only other fullback for the holding onto his shoulder. Abair under a blitz and throws it out of bounds. The constant giant pressure has not, as I think, unsettled Bobby Abair. You know what I do now? You know Taylor's strapped up. Okay, so you really got a guy who's got unbelievable leg strength, but one arm. Run at him. Hilliard on the toss behind Houston Jordan. Tough couple of yards down to the giant 49 yard line. And this man here is, this is like a gladiator. I mean, if we had Julius Caesar sitting up there, he'd probably be applauding this man's effort. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. Hebert under pressure, and he fumbled. And the Giants got it back. Holy cow. Lawrence Taylor caused the fumble the second time he's gotten to Bobby Hebert. And that time you saw Bobby Hebert jump up and, and motion towards the, the uh, Saints bench and say, come on, they have to block it. It can't happen. One man cannot block Lawrence Taylor. Giants defense is playing an exceptional game with an almost total lack of offensive production. First and ten Saints down by a point. Hebert under pressure. Green to Hill. Giants did a great job of stopping that screen play. Three blockers out in front. Abair had that one tipped. I'm sure there are games where players come. Well, I, as a quarterback, I never was in that situation, a game where a player comes and just is is totally 150% out all night. Tonight, Lawrence Taylor has got that throttle open at about 200%. Going on? You bet. First and 10 seats. Good touchdown tonight. Hebert under pressure. Jim Bird has him, and that's another sack. Hebert now 50% on the night. 14 out of 48 faces third and long here. for Johnson with a late blitz, and they got him. He and Taylor at the five. Five sacks for the Giants.
when you can rush three linemen and Lawrence Taylor, it's like rushing five and a half people. And the Saints, with two minutes to go, lead by two and facing a third and two from their own 11. you got to believe the Saints are going to run the football here. Uh, that, that's, it's the thing that is the least risky thing to do. Of course, the Giants only have one timeout left. Hilliard on the cross. And they stop him at the 11. The Giants defense has played great all night.